Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the causes and the symptoms of the viral diseases measles and HIV. Remember that viruses are an example of a pathogen. As we saw before, pathogens are microorganisms that cause infectious disease. Now one key fact about viruses is that viruses cannot be killed by antibiotics and it's really important that you learn that. Okay, so in this video, we're going to be exploring two specific viral diseases. These are measles and HIV. We're going to start with measles. Now, measles is a highly infectious disease, and the first symptom of measles is often a fever. In other words, a very high temperature. Usually after around three days, the patient develops a red skin rash, like the one I'm showing you here. As I said, measles is a highly infectious disease, the virus is spread in droplets when an infected person coughs or sneezes. The virus then passes into a different person when these droplets are inhaled, in other words, breathed in. Now, measles is a serious disease. In some cases, complications can develop, and these can cause damage to the breathing system and the brain. And in severe cases, measles can be fatal. Because of this, most children are vaccinated against measles when they're very young and we're going to be looking at how vaccination works in a later video. Okay, another example of a viral disease is HIV. The first symptom of HIV is often a flu-like illness, but this usually disappears after one or two weeks. At this point, the virus is attacking the cells of the patient's immune system. Over time, the immune system becomes severely damaged. Now, at some point, the patient's immune system becomes so badly damaged that it cannot fight off other infections that other people could easily deal with. The damaged immune system is also unable to fight off cancer cells. When the immune system reaches this highly damaged stage, the patient can now easily contract other infections such as TB. The patient may also develop cancer. At this point, the patient is described as having late stage HIV or AIDS. Frequently at this stage, the disease is fatal. Now, people who are infected with HIV can be treated using antiretroviral drugs. These drugs stop the virus from multiplying inside the patient, so the virus does not damage the patient's immune system. Patients who take antiretroviral drugs do not go on to develop AIDS, and they can lead a normal life expectancy. Now, I should point out that antiretroviral drugs are not a cure for HIV or AIDS. The patient must take these drugs for the rest of their life. HIV is transmitted through the exchange of fluids between humans. So HIV can be spread by unprotected sexual intercourse. It can also be spread when drug users share infected needles. That's because blood containing HIV can pass in the needle from one person to another. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on measles and HIV in my vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. OK, so hopefully now you should be able to describe the causes and the symptoms of the viral diseases measles and HIV.